joy to the world. Let all rejoice. This is the message that I believe Jesus wants us to hear during this Christmas time. I know for many people, this has been a very difficult year with COVID and the whole political se season and everything. And there's a lot of uncertainty and a lot of people have had a lot of fear and, and many, many troubles and some even financial difficulty, economic difficulty. Some have lost their jobs. Some uh, we understand you've you've battled with COVID. You've actually had COVID and some of you might have even lost a, a, a relative or family member or somebody, you know, very close to COVID. And and, and I know there's others that say they they don't want anything to do with it. And wherever you are in the spectrum of what has happened during this year, for everyone, it has been a strange and difficult and weird year. But I want to say this as we draw as this year is drawing to the cl close and we're about in, in two days to celebrate uh, Christmas. I, I want to encourage you right now to put your eyes on Jesus. And so let's look at what the Lord wants to speak to us. When the shepherds were gathered uh, there over their sheep, and it's interesting, these sheep were uh, the sheep that were, were being raised for the sacrifices in, in, in Jerusalem uh, at the temple. And here the angel appears to them and, and says to them, uh, uh, you know, Rejoice, uh, I bring you good news of great joy that is for all the people, okay? And then he says, do not be afraid uh, because, you know, obviously this, this angelic appearance made them afraid. And But many today are afraid. And, and the Lord says, don't be afraid. Uh, but uh, he is bringing us good news. And then the angels started singing glory to God in the highest. And peace, peace, peace to all men, peace to you and goodwill favor. May his pleasure, the word there is his pleasure and delight. May his pleasure and delight be upon you. And so the announcement of the coming of the Lord Jesus was with great joy and excitement. It was in a time where the Roman Empire was, uh, you know, it was in the midst of the Roman Empire and the Romans were controlling and ruling over Israel, over the land of Palestine. And the Jews were under a lot of stress and trouble looking for a Messiah that would politically come and deliver them from the Romans, overthrow the Romans and reestablish um, the kingdom of David according to what it was in that time. But God had a different plan. That day is still coming, but but he was giving them the savior of the world, the one who would pay the price for our sins and would be buried and raised on the third day and conquer sin, sickness, disease, oppression and death. Hallelujah. This is the Jesus that triumphed, but it was that Jesus that we celebrate at this time that came into the world, okay, when he was born from Mary while she was a virgin. And so uh, how it happened was this, and the angel came to her in Nazareth, and he said to her, rejoice. And as you can hear, there's a theme here of joy and rejoicing. He says to rejoice. You are highly favored because God is with you. I want to declare to you today. And then he also said to her, do not be afraid. And I want to say this to you. Do not be afraid, but rejoice. For the Lord is with you and you are highly favored of the Lord. And I know some of you, when I say this, you're like, what you are talking about is not my reality. 
You don't know the trouble I have. You don't know the things I'm facing. You don't know what is looking, uh, what is in front of me. Uh, I, I don't even. Uh, I'm not even looking to next year. I'm hoping next year will be better than this because I can't wait for this year to be over because it's been so, so terrible. I want to say this to you. That might be your reality in the natural, but I want to tell you there is a different reality that Jesus is speaking, that he is about to do mighty things in our day and in your life. So lift your eyes up. And the, Mary said, how is this possible? You are saying, how is this possible? And the angel said to her, for every word spoken by God is possible. Without, with God, all things are possible. With God, nothing is impossible. That is the message that the Lord is giving us. That is the message he is saying. Don't look at the natural, but see with joy that he wants to do the impossible in our day. And then the angel had told her that Elizabeth is already in her six months month. And so because she had been barren and many of you have experienced barrenness and the Lord is telling you rejoice O barren one because you are going to bear many children spiritually you, you might feel things have been barren around you but the Lord is about to do a new thing for you rejoice because you're you are about to be your situation is about to be changed he says rejoice and so Mary rushed off to to Elizabeth and when she entered remember she's carrying Jesus on the inside in her womb. And when she walks in, the joy that Jesus brings comes and touches her and overshadows her. This is Elizabeth. And she is filled with joy. And the baby, uh, 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 John the Baptist, in her womb leaps for joy. And I want to encourage you, you are, if you are born again, you carry Jesus on the inside of you. He lives on the inside of you and he wants you to wherever you go to bring his joy at this time. Whatever your circumstances is, let the joy of Jesus come into that circumstance and you will overcome in the midst of all the trouble in the name of Jesus. And then, this is our prayer for you uh, for this time from uh, Romans 15, verse 13, that the Holy Spirit will fill you by His power with joy and hope. That He will fill you with joy. And it says the disciples were filled with joy in the Holy Spirit. I pray that the Holy Spirit overshadows you at this time and that you are filled filled with joy so shake off all the fear i command all the fear go if you have a, a cold a flu the flu or covid or any other thing i command it in the name of jesus go i speak the healing power of the lord jesus into your life right now in the name of jesus whatever your disease wherever you have pain go that you will have a pain free christmas if you have the flu i command the flu go in jesus name that you will with will be without uh, th this flu in the name of jesus that if you have COVID, be healed. The fever goes. Whatever COVID system, uh, symptoms there is, they go in Jesus' name. We speak the resurrection life and power of the Lord Jesus upon you in the name of Jesus. If you are filled with fear, I command that fear go in Jesus' name. All that intimidation of the enemy go in the name of Jesus. Do not be afraid. The Lord is with you. Rejoice. Again, I say rejoice. Hallelujah. Okay, so this is this is our prayer for you. As, and, and may the Lord Jesus just bless you. May, may his hand be upon you.
May your celebration of the coming of Jesus be so Jesus filled that you will be so aware of the Lord Jesus and that you will be filled with joy and delight. Even when you open your gifts, that you will be filled with delight. Even if you have not as many people as normal because of COVID or whatever, but when you come together, rejoice and let joy and laughter fill you over this Christmas time in the name of Jesus. And this is from me and Helena. God bless you. We love you guys. Thank you for all the people that over this year have prayed with us, that have supported us financially, that, that have befriended us on Facebook, and, and that have walked with us. And we just bless all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And may I will still later on in the beginning of 2021 uh, send out a, 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 a New Year's message. But may 2021 be a fruitful year. May you be blessed in every way. And we give Jesus all the glory for what he has done. In the name of Jesus. Amen.